FM 1021 Independent Alternative Radio. It's Michelle, and I'm here with Andrew McMahon from Jack's Mannequin. Hi! Hello, hello. So um, let's talk about mustaches really quick. <laughs> so I heard um, from some sources who said they have seen you in, in recent times sporting a mustache. Can you confirm or deny? I'm going with confirmation. Your confirmation. Where is it? Uh, the, well, the confirmation obviously not being worn on my face at this right. moment. But yeah, no, I, uh, I had this enormous beard at the beginning of the tour, and like when, I kind of grow a beard like once every month you know what i mean like I, I kind of, it's like one of those things like okay let it go let it go and then like when you feel just ugly enough then you shave it off yeah. or whatever and you begin the process of regrowth and i i sort of was like uh, i was like halfway through shaving and realized i hadn't gotten the mustache when i was like i was like oh my gosh i've got to you know so i so i shaved into a mustache as a joke and just ran up to the front lounge of the bus to the tell the band you yeah know, like you guys have to see you have to see this you know and everybody's like you have to do at least one show like that. And then uh, we did one show, but it was like it happened to just kind of coincide with like we it was right at the middle of the tour and it sort of coincided with us also like hitting our stride, I think, on the tour. So I kept it going for like maybe another two weeks. And then uh, and then eventually like the comparisons to Ron Burgundy and various uh, – uh, adult, porn, film you know, adult film stars adult film stars uh you know it got to me a little bit but but uh i, I i'm i'm holding strong the mustache will come back eventually whether you like it or not <laughs> you're kind of like samson you harness your power in your mustache you don't know it was, it was really it was it had a it had a certain power about it actually like my tour manager he begged me not he was like he's like i will shave my facial hair into any <laughs> configuration you please if you keep the mustache and i was like dude I'm, I'm just not feeling it today so you know but there will be uh there will be a time for the mustache again i believe you didn't save it did you it's, no i did not okay just make Sure you didn't I'm not, save it. Yeah, I, I, I keep all, you know, I have this weird fetish. I keep all of the old hair I cut off. Yeah, yeah, I like I, hair. I just keep it in a box. Put you some know, candles re and jars. Revisit it every now and again, paste it on my. Okay, this is getting weird. <laughs> There's an episode of Beavis and Butthead like that, which we won't get into. All right, yeah, we have All right, all right. So, um, welcome to indoor Milwaukee. Like, is this <laughs> weird for you? Because you always come and you play these big, fat summer festivals we're used to here. The outdoor, yeah, we're used to the outdoor shows. Yeah. Uh, it's, I mean, it feels like we're outdoors. If yeah. it makes it, you know what I mean? <laughs> if, if it makes I am wearing a scarf and we're inside. Yes. Yeah, so are you, actually. Yeah, so yeah. Am I. We're and, bundled the, up. and this is not a fashion thing. Right. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, no, if, I mean, it, it's good. I mean, obviously, Milwaukee in the summer is always a different story than um, Milwaukee right. in the winter. But uh, hey, it's, it's good either way. I mean, yeah, especially yeah. being from the West Coast. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I'm, I, like a temperature below like 45 degrees is enough to usually send me back inside. So, <laughs> so, so, tw so 20 is a different story altogether. But we're here and we're happy. All right, good. I'm glad we don't have to move it out to the parking lot to mm. accommodate your outdoor Milwaukee. No, 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 I promise you, the outdoor thing, we're, we're fine inside right. tonight. Good to know, good to know. So the new record, The Glass Passenger, uh, the first song off of it, The Resolution. The video directed by Stephanie Meyer, such yes. a cool video. Have you seen her movie Twilight? Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. Actually, I almost, I almost went and saw it this week with my, with my wife, but I, we ended up seeing like Four Christmases instead. Okay. So yeah, that's, I have not seen Twilight yet, but it's definitely on the, uh, it's on the schedule of things to do when I get home. Fair enough. Yeah. And then... Um, Congratulations are in order for you. Uh, recently, you were able to raise a hundred thousand dollars for the Dear Jack Foundation. Well, yeah, I mean, actually, I mean, my fans were. You know, they yeah. were. They, they, I mean, it, it was the the Jacks team, but it was a uh, a group of really dedicated fans all over the country who uh, went out and embraced the Lymphoma, Leukemia Lymphoma Society. Does these uh, light the night walks, uh, which are basically, you know, you can you can actually go out to the walks or you can just donate online. There are various different you know ways to donate, but we sort of put the challenge out. You know, if we if we raise a hundred thousand dollars leukemia and lymphoma society said they would give us a grant in the name of the team um so you know we, we had in previous years done thirty thousand uh, dollars you know each year and we were like okay well let's try for a hundred this time why not you know so we, we uh we activated the the fan base and just told them said you know if you can do it if you want to be a part of it please do and uh and you know there was there was a handful of you know really really amazing tenacious people like a one one family actually in within their family and within their friends had raised like between ten and twenty thousand dollars on their own you know i mean just incredible stories that came out of it i met a lot of amazing people uh, you know a lot of people you know struggling with the disease themselves and and uh you know it only brought it closer i think to home how important it is what we're doing so yeah is this something that you are currently raising money still for or do you just do it when the walk uh, happens well, when the walk happens we team up with the leukemia and lymphoma society okay. otherwise i do have a foundation called the dear jack foundation which we still are taking donations for uh, we take donations throughout the year you can just go to dearjackfoundation.com um and then yeah we'll do 
we, we have other initiatives that we'll raise throughout the year um, that will we'll help the Deer Jack Foundation raise money individually. Actually, $40,000 came from our foundation to Leukemia Lymphoma Society to match the donations of, of uh, um, you know, the kids on the right. Jacks team as well. So, yeah, so it's all kind of tied in together. That's great. That's great. Well, we are so excited to have you here tonight playing. Yeah, glad to be here. And uh, I hope it gets a little warmer. Oh, uh, you know, it'll be just fine. As soon as we start dancing around, everything will be cool. Right. Dancing makes you warm. Dancing makes for warm. All right. Thank you so much, Andrew. I Thank really you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, Michelle.